White House Press Secretary says the United States seeks to lengthen and strengthen the nuclear constraints on Iran through diplomacy. Jen Psaki said that President Joe Biden would engage in early talks with allies to pursue restraints on Iran's nuclear program. She added that Iran must resume compliance with significant limitations under the 2015 nuclear deal known also as the JCPOA. Former President Donald Trump abandoned the Iran nuclear deal in 2018. Biden's nominee for Secretary of State Antony Blinken has said Washington did not face a quick decision on whether to rejoin the nuclear agreement. Earlier, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani said the ball is in America's court to return to the accord. He emphasized that Iran would only start to act on its commitments when Washington starts carrying out its obligations. Sejiro Takashita is a professor of management at the University of uh, Shizuka and joins us now. Professor, welcome. So it does appear that the new White House is imposing conditions to, on returning to the Iran nuclear deal, something that Tehran has said is a red line. Well, I think uh, it's not only Iran and United States. I mean, this Iran nuclear deal really involves uh, the Europeans in particular, I feel. And I think Mr. Trump was trying to um, get his strength uh, or basically show off his strength by butting into this, you know, uh, Iranian deal uh, and basically putting, you know, Europeans in jeopardy. Because before, you know, 2018, um, after this agreement was uh, fixed, you can see that the trade with Iran and France has tripled. And Germany has made also very heavy investment as well did the Great Britain. So you can see the Europeans were already very willing and happy to you know, make all the businesses with Iran. And this is where Mr. Trump had to, well, basically get in and swirl things around when things were going on the right direction. So uh, I would say that you know, uh, at least we're going on the normal path, or I say to the path of normalization as far as relationship is concerned. Right. Um... Iran and the U.S. have not always seen eye to eye, uh, and that's a bit of an understatement. So when it comes to the deal itself, the JCPOA, um, all the other signatories have said that you're either in or you're, or you're out. So mm -hmm. if the United States is, is out, if it sets these conditions of which, the United, of which Iran will not accept, if it's out, for example, the EU foreign policy chief today said um, at least remove the secondary sanctions. Do you think the new administration would go down that path of at uh, least allowing new administration, other... Um, excuse me, at least a new administration will be on the table to negotiate. Now, that is a world of difference compared to the previous, you know, presidents, you know, uh, delegates. So, yes, you know, um, there could be some disagreement, and it's fine to agree to disagree, at least. At least you're on the table. And that's, that's what I mean by going in the right direction, because obviously the two parties, especially the Iranians and the Americans, as you just said, the governments don't look eye to eye, to say the least. But, you know, if you don't get onto the, uh, you know, the negotiation table, nothing will advance. And we may have third party, you know, litigations that might come along. It could be in the Europeans I, to I was talking about. It could be other form of soft pressure that would enable the two parties to at least reach an agreement. And that, in my opinion, is a world of difference. Right. Okay, Sejiro, thank you very much indeed. Sejiro Takashita, a professor of management, joining us out of the uh, from the University of uh, Shizuka.